Hey everyone, Sky here in my office at home, and I got a package today from my friend John Mark Comer, and I thought I would open it on camera to see what's in it. I'm guessing that it's related to his new book, The Elimination or The, Re the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. John Mark is actually going to be my guest on this week's Holy Post podcast, so let's see what's in the box together, and if it is what I think it is, then we might do something special. Let me get the camera set up. Hold on a minute. All right, there's the box. Hopefully uh, that isn't too awkward. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, publishers will often send out boxes like this when they're promoting a new book that has various promotional materials in it. Um, and that seems to be what this is. Although they never do it for my books, it seems like. So there is the box, John Mark Homer, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And inside is a note handwritten by John Mark to me, which is very nice. We've been friends for a few years and um, always enjoy getting together with him. Promotional card from the publisher about how to promote the book, as one would expect. And there's the book. Um, this is not my first copy of it, so we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But a couple things to note in this. First of all, John Mark's books are always beautifully produced. I mean, obviously it's a really simple cover design. It's not just the elimination of hurry, but also the elimination of clutter, it seems. Uh, as an author, one of the things that struck me the moment I saw this cover design was the fact that John Mark's name is the same size as John Orberg, who wrote the foreword, and that's unusual. It says something about the humility of John Mark, because he doesn't have to have his name big on the book and doesn't mind sharing it with John Orberg. Um, but beyond that, his books are always really well written, not just in content, but in style. Like the design of it is really simple and clean and easy to read. Oh, Scott Harrison. That's nice. He was on our podcast recently also from Charity Water. So there's the book. Oh, this is cool. Letters by a Modern Mystic. I've not read this before. I'm kind of curious as to why he included it in here because I don't recall. I read... The Elimination of Hurry. I don't remember him mentioning this book, but maybe he did. Um, this doesn't look new. No, it's from 1937. So that's cool to check that out. There's also coffee from Kenya. I don't drink coffee, but my wife does, so she will enjoy this. Thank you, John Mark. Um, oh, and inside the box, there's a quote from Dallas Willard, which is interesting because that's where the title of the book comes from. And in my conversation with John Mark... He and I actually talk quite a bit about Dallas Willard and the influence he has been on both of us in our in our lives. Um, but I figured there would be a copy of the book in here, which is interesting because if you come over to my desk, you can see I already have a copy of the book. And in fact, that's not even the only copy I have because where is it? There it is. Up here, I have another copy of the book. Um, Again, for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with the publishing industry, uh, this is a proof, an uncorrected proof or an advanced reader copy. Sometimes they send out what are called galleys, which are kind of eight and a half by 11 paper versions of the book. But these go out early. Um, sometimes they're fully designed like this one is, but it's not hardcover. It's uncorrected, meaning there's often a lot of editorial errors in it or spelling errors or punctuation or stuff that has to be cleaned up, but they send this out early to people so they can read and review the book. So I got this a few months ago, and as you can see, uh, I have read it and marked it up and taken my notes and dog-eared it. So this is actually the copy I want to keep because it has my notes in it, which means I have two unmarked copies that we can do something with. So why don't we do this? Um, how about... How about we give two of these copies away to listeners of The Holy Post, but with some incentive. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to our Patreon page and become a supporter of The Holy Post, how about if you sign up in the next day or two, then we will randomly select two of our Patreon supporters to get these free copies of John Mark Comer's new book. And I don't know, maybe Phil and I can sign them, although I wish I had John Mark in studio so he could sign them. But we might send a note of thanks for being a Patreon supporter, and we'll send those along. I promise you'll love the book. Uh, it's really well written, and our conversation on Wednesday of this week with John Mark may convince you, if you don't get a free copy, to go out and buy one yourself. So, John Mark, thank you for the package. Thanks for the copies of the book. Thank you, Patreon supporters, for supporting The Holy Post. And hopefully you enjoy the conversation on Wednesday of this week with John Mark Homer. Thanks, guys.